fishing with uh, Keith Jensen of Big Wally's Guide Service. And if you know anything about Banks Lake, you know Big Wally's has fished this lake for many, many years. So, Keith. You guys are the pros, so what are we going after today? Well, we're going to target walleye. I mean, you know, certainly that's the big popular fish here. That's what everybody wants to come here and catch. We're going to go for walleye. You know, right right now the walleye are kind of scattered all throughout the lake. You got some deep, you got some shallow. One thing that we'll find right away today is the lake is full of small undersized walleye. You know, they got to be 16 inches here to keep. Right. Um, you just got to keep, you know, running and gunning and hitting spots and weeding through those small ones to get some, you know, those keeper fish. One thing about walleye, they are really mobile, you know, mobile, especially here on Banks Lake. You may find them in a spot one day and the next day they're a mile away. All right. Well, let's go search them out. Sounds good. Okay. What we're going to be running today is for walleye are these Max products. This one's a, a double whammy walleye pro and it's just got the two, it's basically it's similar to a wedding ring but it just has the, set, the, the second hook, the stinger hook in the back for these night crawlers. Um, and this, it's got the smile blade. Um, some of the other baits that we'll use will be Max products also but they'll have the smile blade with the slow death hook combo and that one's been very good this year as well. You know greens, purples, blues, th these walleye in here feeding on perch so the greens lately have been really good. Then as far as weight system goes this is a bottom bouncer and this one's with the arm. Some come just with the with just the, the single bar here. This one's with the with the arm. I like the, like it with the arm because you know you just have the swivel swivel there for your leader. But in this this weight, they come in a lot of sizes. Uh, this is the smallest size, half ounce. They go clear up to three, four ounces. Um, they're very good. They're pretty. They're you'll still you'll get snagged occasionally in the rocks, but they're very good about just ticking along the bottom. And that's what you, that's why they're called a bottom bouncer. Do you just want these things to be bouncing and ticking the bottom as you're trolling? So with the with the walleye bite, you know one of the big things about walleye, one of the maybe the, one of the frustrating parts is is knowing when to set the hook, and you can really tell a difference between a small walleye bite and a, and a keeper size walleye bite. Those smaller walleye, you know, it's almost like a perch bite. It's just real fast, real fat, a real fast bite. Whereas a keeper walleye, a bigger fish, you you may see an initial tick and then the rod just loads, it's just heavy. It's almost like you're all of a sudden pulling a limb through the water. And what I like to do in that case, instead of just grabbing the rod out of the rod holder is crank down first, get them real tight, and then go ahead and lift it out. That way you're not creating a bunch of slack. Another guy, huh, Aaron? Yep. So far, we're getting a lot of the littler guys. But waiting for that big fish. We've moved from the 
north end of the lake, which has really that uh, spectacular high bluffs and rocky scenery, and now we're at the south end, so very different. Very different. Yeah, now we're, you know, we're down at south end towards Cooley City end. Um, yeah, not, you know, more of a more flat. You got a lot of, you know, the land on shore is very flat and you don't have those those rocky bluffs down, you know, quite here at this end. But the but the lake is a different story down here. It's got a lot of structure up and down, a lot of rock down here. Um, yeah, it's like almost two different lakes. North end, you know, you got a lot of largemouth, a lot of weed, a lot of weed growth up there in tules and reeds. Whereas in the south end, it's pretty much a, a rock show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh... You wouldn't have to run all the way from the north end down here. There's a boat launch over there, isn't there? Exactly. Yeah, there's a Cooley City. There's a boat launch right here real close. Um, the one thing about it, you know, and this is a summer pr pattern with the wind here, in the morning, this south end of Banks Lake, it's always blowing, and it's blowing usually pretty strong until, I mean, now it's about, you know, quarter to nine maybe. Usually around between eight and nine, it'll flatten out just like this every morning. So a lot of people get, you know, um, get afraid of that wind and they think oh it's going to be windy on banks it's it's windy down here every every morning in the summer but like yeah. i said it'll flatten right out Fish on. Getting there. Keith, there's a lot of wrong ways to put a worm on a wedding ring. Show us the right way. Yeah, so with this with this two hook setup, what I like to do is take that leading, that front hook, nose hook the crawler as close to the nose as you can, and just and just thread it on there a little bit. Um, nothing fancy there. And I'll take that trailing one. You can't really, you can leave it dangling. The problem is this hook won't, won't run right alongside the night crawl. It tends to want to go out to the side, so you'll, you'll miss a lot of fish doing that. So I'll just take it and put that, that hook through about the middle, you know, maybe just past the middle of the crawler, just like that. I want that crawler to be pretty straight still as it's going through the water. There's a little bit of a bend to it. That's good. That gives it a little more action, a little more twist and spin in the water as well. There we go, got the net out, huh? Fish maybe, on. Maybe, huh? So Mark just took into a keeper on his boat. And uh, this one's feeling better. This could be a keeper here, too. It's going to be no, close. No. no. Uh, he's starting to feed her out. No, not quite. Yeah, the sunlight makes them shrink. So when they get to the top of the surface, <laughs> yeah. you just... Uh, yeah, they're, they're just smaller once you get them out of the water. Yeah, that's right. Shrinkage. <laughs> it's all about the shrinkage. Check out that fish over there that Mark's got, though. Hold your fish up, Mark. That's what we're looking for. Well, when the, the walleyes are not cooperating... Switch gears to smallmouth. Yeah. Smallmouth are in here shallow right now, spawn, and this one just came off of a off of a bed. It's a pretty good fish. That is a nice fish. 
you know, with these switches, you know, the, the back reel switch on these spinning reels, when he's really pulling, I'll reel backwards. I just hit that switch and reel backwards. Oh yeah. You know, with when you let, she like that. That was a good run. I just let him let him go, and I. You eliminate a lot of your line twists on these spinning reels. Spinning reels, you're gonna get a lot of line twist, and a lot of it's from letting the drag go. Sure. That bait is the what's it, Jigmeister? Is that really Jigmeister? It's Jigmeister, it, it's huh? his. It's Very his. Cool. It's his Helgamite, and I had him make 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 me some in white for mm -hmm. for just this purpose. Right. That white bait there, and what that does, I mean, it, it it helps me that white. I can see the bait when I'm doing this sight fishing like this, you know, and I'm looking at the fish. I can see the bait. Yeah, and see how the fish is reacting to the bait. Sometimes that doesn't matter. Like these these fish, right now they're just they're chomping it. But a lot of times that white really helps helps me just see what's going on. Yep. Oh. No. Ah, shoot. We're just missing the big guys, aren't we? Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a better load up bite. He didn't tap 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 tap. He just loaded up. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Marking more fish right there. This is nice what job, we were Mike. out here for all day. In a well-known spot on Banks, Poplar Point. Poplar Point, well-known walleye spot. Um, big long tapering point here. Lots of walleye have been caught here over the years. Nice. There we go. On the purple. So that is keeper. 16 inches, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's probably 17-ish. Got a smile blade by Mac Lures. Well, we got some good numbers today. Unfortunately, they just weren't the size that we were looking for. One good keeper, Mark got a good keeper in his boat. You have days like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. And it's been that's kind of a story here in the last week or two. I mean, it's been a lot of small fish. And those those keepers are, are have been very tough to come by. Yeah. On the other hand, you can go out bays and just slam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sometimes you find the, the right spot where there's a school of the bigger fish, and you nail them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that is fishing. Uh, Keith, if guys want to get hold of you and go fishing, what's the best way of contacting you? Yeah, the easiest way is, is to go onto my website, uh, bigwallysguideservice.com. Okay, and of course there's a link on Washington Lakes as well. Keith, thanks for taking this out. You bet, thank you. It's a beautiful lake, and uh, we'll see you guys on the water and online. Walleye fishing on Banks Lake, it has its hazards. Got to watch those hooks. But there you go, another nice walleye.